Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna have a reading for the rest of June. I know I didn't do it in the beginning, uh, but doesn't really matter. <laughs> we're gonna look at uh, what kind of events will happen to you or what you need to know about your life um, during this month of June. Uh, we can look a little bit further, like within a month or so, okay? Let's not be too specific with uh, dates or numbers or months. But in the upcoming weeks, what you need to know. Also, I prepare, uh, actually doing some uh, cleansing here while I'm doing this reading for you. I feel like we need to cleanse ourselves. If you see my candles, they are uh, cleansing you during this reading. Uh, you don't have to do anything. You just um, have to be present uh, while your pile is on or even if you're going to be present for the whole reading, even better. Okay, I already have some wax in here. So, uh, let's start. So today I prepared for you, I'm sorry guys, it's, uh, I prepared for you all the uh, stones with uh, tiger eye, I don't know why, I felt uh, brown colors today, and today we're going to look at the month of June for you. I want to tell you while I'm looking at those candles, I want to say um, you do need a certain cleansing and it's going to be good for you during this video because there is some gossip going on around you, there are people are talking, I want to say. It doesn't mean it will affect you in any way, but just letting you know. Just a second. I have to keep an eye to these candles here. <clears throat> If you don't like, you know, listening to all of that, and you can just skip to your pile. Pile one will be this shape. Pile two. I'm not gonna look at specific uh, as I usually do since it's already like almost middle of June. <clears throat> I'm not gonna look at specific um, parts like love life health or money i'm just gonna tell you in general this is my necklace actually okay choose your pile let's start <clears throat> Hello, pile one, whoever chose this shape. Let's see. Your June events or what you need to know in June during this month uh, about yourself. Beauty. Uh, right away, I want to say uh, a lot of people paying attention at your looks right now, at your energy. Uh, I hear you radiate a positive um, energy. You may be taking care of your body right now. I see people... It doesn't have to be that way, but I'm just gonna describe what I feel. People that uh, maybe put cream on, them, on their body after shower, I don't know, I see you taking care of your hair, maybe. Uh, maybe uh, you are very neat. I don't know if it's in general or during this month, or you should be during this month. You taking care of yourself, uh, I see you put a very good perfume, you smell good. Uh, for some people, they are uh, makeup artists here, even I, I hear people that are taking care of not just their body, but they also uh, do some uh, something for other people. <clears throat> Maybe you're in a beauty industry or design, whatever it is. Uh, so your concentration during this month is on you, or it should be. If you feel that you like this or you don't have enough time for yourself the universe encourages you to take care of your body of your needs of um, the way you take care of yourself of your skin your hair 
your nails, whatever it is, whatever you need to take care of, whatever is uh, missing, or just continue doing what you're doing. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what else you need to know about June? This is your main energy or what you need to be in. King of Wands, okay. Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Mm, two of cups i see someone um is into you here and uh, no wonder if your card is beauty right you maybe already attracted some person or you about to attract a person that eventually may fall in love with you it may all start with simple conversation it may all start with some simple connection when i say simple it's not when um you going on date knowing that you going on date for example you uh, on the dating side and you know specifically that you're going to meet a person for uh, your personal life needs no this is more of it will all start with uh, conversation like random you randomly will bump into each other or uh, somewhere you will see this person you will start talking so somebody is either already into you or um, yeah someone is already having certain um i hear uh butterflies in their stomach when it comes to you uh or they will or they will if you didn't meet anyone yet expect something like that <clears throat> and that's why maybe the universe encourages you to take care of yourself because when we take care of ourselves some people think oh uh it doesn't matter um it doesn't matter if uh, i have makeup or if my hair is fine if it's my person i'll still you know we'll still connect and this is right this is true in a, to a certain extent but at the same time when we're taking care of ourselves uh it doesn't mean that at that moment when you meet somebody you will be at your best no you may be even uh you know going sweating after uh, a dream i don't know but when you mean in a bit between in meanwhile when you're taking care of yourself your energy shows that you're taking care of yourself okay so when you uh, have time for yourself your energy shines it through you and it doesn't matter what you wear okay so it's not at the moment you have to take care of yourself because you about to meet somebody or you uh you know it's affecting your uh, life in some way or maybe at your work um, listen but in general what energy comes from you that's what's important uh, so yes i want to say about your love life you will have um, new admirers or you already have them uh, it started with love what else what else you need to know i knew it <laughs> Pentacles. Maybe you're thinking about how to uh, have a second job, part-time job, or how to make more money. What what else to do to make more money? What kind of business to open? Uh, you have some thoughts about it, or you will be having those thoughts. And what about it? Uh, and they say um, when you're thinking about something new, uh, think about. Um, I don't know why it, it it takes you back basically and, and it says yes you may be thinking about new approaches of how to make money but what if you come back into um, your past and see what were you good at maybe during your childhood you had some talents and you never um, you know showed them in real life okay or you never experienced them in real life um, or maybe some skills of yours you can approach in a different way. So basically something from your past can help you to figure out how to make money or how to um, expand your finances. Because right now it seems like nothing's uh, changing much. Uh, you still at a certain situation where you're trying to improve, but you don't know what option to take. Some people thinking about to even move somewhere. And again, Wheel of Fortune, it's, um, it's about coming back somewhere, having um, some experience, uh, like, turn, uh, even though we never like to go back, right, uh, this is not, but in this specific situation, something in your past can get you, move you forward, whatever it means to you guys, I don't know what it means to you, something in you, from your past 
can make you move forward and uh, accomplish your why do I hear traditional traditions traditional something about traditions here I don't know something about traditions maybe it's your family uh, business that was or they did something in the past what else you need to know about your June events listen you will have a lots of positive emotions here or you can create um create it with your energy i see that whatever you're going to do in june or you maybe you're already experiencing that you will have very positive emotions here you will be interacting with uh, things or people that you care for or that you would like to be around i see lots of um uh, you know good vibes coming from you yes including people including people more than one even i want to say here and again guys i'm just doing like um overall i'm not concentrating specifically but i'm gonna open one more card for you what else you need to know about june or maybe some advice for you something you need to hear okay There's some advice for it for you I told you three of cups you will be celebrating something maybe you will be going out eating great foods uh, chatting with your friends family members people that you care for uh, it doesn't matter who but you will surround yourself with positive mm -hmm. people and it will eventually bring you um, good fortune I hear it will eventually bring you very good fortune yes four of uh, wands and the empress some people even i want to say will meet a person that will eventually stay for a long time in their life even life partner for some uh again we're not looking too deep but i'm just telling you your energy attracts good things in your life and keep continue doing what you're doing continue taking care of yourself continue uh, enjoying life here and now be in the moment basically and again if you're trying to create something think about something in the past could help you something that you uh maybe forgot anyways thank you guys and i'm going for pile number two hello pile two whoever chose um this ball let's see hmm. june events uh in general what's going on we're not looking uh too deep into it knowledge well some people literally studying or you right now into uh, exploring something maybe you uh, watch certain videos on certain related subject or topic that you care for uh, you browsing around you um, trying to figure something out or another thing could be here knowledge could also mean somebody will give you a certain knowledge or truth about something that will uh, actually push you forward but let's see what is this about well number two <clears throat> air spirit is movement always movement Swords, two of cups. I told you about knowledge and air, air uh, energy. For many of you, it's about your job, your career, your school, college, whatever it is, whatever you're doing. Um, I want to say some people trying to, um, you know what came to me? If you're right now thinking, how should I uh, fast forward my studies or how should I make it shorter to towards my goal? How should I um, actually step, for example, usually you step, um, make two steps ahead. You want to make 10 uh, one, at once. And uh, the advice here is don't jump over yourself because you can trip basically don't run ahead of the um there is a saying um don't run ahead of the wheel or have a, a, ahead of the car um because you're not gonna be able to 
uh, take it like with the temperance however it goes whatever you're doing however it goes that's that's the spirit that's what how it needs to go however it flows that's the um basically that's the speed that's supposed to be here however you grasp the knowledge that you will grasp or you are doing now grasping now that's the that's the way don't uh run before the you know wherever you shouldn't be don't because sometimes we want things faster but eventually we easily disappointed but i think it's more related to your um, business career uh, finances or your thoughts about how to make things faster how to uh, push forward faster no whatever uh, pays it go it goes by that's what's supposed to be okay what else for june mm. you know why you have this uh those thoughts because something's not right if everything great right now at your career job business school and you have no issues this is not your pile pile two uh, you have some problems here. Maybe you're worrying how to pay your bills. I don't know. And so for some of you, you think your success is running away from you. And it gives you even more uh, fears of uh, to try to catch something, to f fast forward something. And uh, by the way, just uh, a little reminder for those. Um, I hope on my channel, channel there are not many. Of these people but listen I'm channeling if you're trying to cheat something over like to get what you want this is a bad idea whatever it means to you whatever it means to you you just want to go around something around some issue uh, some people even may be thinking, should I not tell the truth just for, you know, for the sake of, you know, getting where I want to get? No. What else? Mm-hmm. to some injustice is going on in your life or you think it's injustice and you're trying to make it right could be at your work could be with your family members um, I don't know inheritance uh, maybe you separated from someone and you expecting from them to pay you some something or uh, give you back your house I don't know some people have those kind of issues and the more you try, the more you fail. And remember, we were talking about everything has to have its own phase uh, and its own speed. But when you try uh, to overdo, you getting back to zero. Also, some people need to work on their communication skills. For example, when you're trying to, some, somebody's literally going through a, cert, a certain court uh, issues. Um, guys, with whoever it doesn't resonate, just you're not your pile. This is very specific pile with very specific information. Uh, somebody needs to work on their uh, communication skills. You may be. not having all the tools oh wait maybe you literally working on it through maybe you have a course or you have some advisor who can help you how to uh, talk right how to uh, present your idea right some communication with the air spirit skills are needed here and if you really studying for something maybe you have a speech class i don't know 
you need it. You need it. Pile number two. Uh, your problems could come from this part. When you're too emotional to speak, uh, to speak your truth, and that's why why you fail. You don't know how to present or uh, do a presentation the right way. You don't know how to encourage people to do something or how to uh, talk right so people will want, would want to have a business with you. Um, something about communication skill is off. Or maybe for some it will be a good, uh, you know, um, hint for what they're doing. And if you know it somehow triggers you or somehow it, you feel like this is this information is for you. You need some better communication skills. You need to have this knowledge in order to make um, more pentacles here or to have better opportunities. And it's normal. It's okay. You have to work on your throat chakra as well. Okay, what else finally for pile number two? Because it's here is more professional for June. What else you need to know? I told you it's more like financial. But also um, about love or about your personal life, I see that somebody will compliment you soon. It could be through social media, could be through friends or family members. I don't know. It could be. It doesn't have to be straight towards you. For you, it could be somebody will tell the other person or like you to your friend that they like you or that they would say that you are attractive beautiful handsome give you certain compliments i see somebody is giving you compliments and you know what it will somehow move you uh, to a different direction interesting it will give you a certain push or knowledge that you couldn't see before about yourself somebody will uh, say something right uh, hear me out somebody will say something that will give you a new um, understanding of you, who you really are. Doesn't mean you just listen to someone's compliment and now you like, you know, uh, now you're happy, blah, blah. No, that means you are affected by whatever people, tomorrow somebody's going to say something bad, you're also affected in a negative way. No, but you will uh, realize certain truth about yourself and it will actually move you. It will actually move you. Where is it going to move? I just said move you and the six of um, swords movement. Where is it going to move you? Wow. Pile number two. It will release some uh, doubts about what you truly deserve or about what kind of person you are. You are. Mm. You even will... Uh, uh, listen, this situation will even get you back into your past and show you why all this time you didn't understand why um, you couldn't build a relationship with other people or you couldn't uh, create um, positive communication with your partner if you have a partner so basically some situation or somebody will t say something something good about you right that will uh, get you back to your wounds and you will realize why all this time you couldn't figure it out or things didn't work out for you. That's very interesting. Yes, it will take you out of a certain personal stagnation. It will end certain situation. Uh, even for some... confirm something for some yes it's it will completely destroy your uh, past um, thoughts about yourself 
you basically come into a new phase of your life where you don't think a certain way anymore you don't think uh, anymore that uh, your journey is only to be on your own just an example or you don't you're not going to think that uh, someone may affect your life anymore or that nobody understands you or basically you will feel um, understand the cause of your own um, doubts about yourself very interesting information comes through and finally some advice as I did for pile one Some advice for you or something you need to know two cards queen of cups page so someone's gathering information about somebody's basically into you here or somebody uh, literally in love with you here depends on your situation but someone is uh, gathering information about you asking around page of swords um, they also could look uh, on social media some person I just saw the emperor here uh, but they don't want you to know about it they gather in information without your knowledge and uh, funny thing I end my uh, this reading with uh, the word knowledge uh, where you may, may find out something that other person doesn't want you to find out so you will get the knowledge that somebody um, is looking up without your knowledge but I don't see it's negative they they just yeah they finding finding ways to get to you to they're preparing something for you some king of swords i don't know who they are any gender but they're the magician they will um basically they rule i don't know this person is very active when it comes to you and even if right now i think it's quiet you think it's quiet but they are doing their stuff. They are uh, gathering information about you. Very interesting reading, Pile 2. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, let me know in comments. And I'm going for Pile number 3. Hello, Pile 3. Whoever chose this um, necklace. Let's see your June or what's going on what you need to know purity why i want to say pile three doesn't care in the world <laughs> what it means uh, they'll just live their life uh they right or maybe currently you feel positive when you open this reading uh it's the energy that comes through you feel that or maybe recently you did some um you bought something for yourself or you uh, took care of yourself in some way uh, you feel attractive right now maybe could also be because look at this horse <laughs> if it's a horse i don't know it's a unicorn what is this it's like a, a simple horse would feel like a unicorn which means special you feel special right now or you would feel special in the upcoming weeks since we're looking at june um you will you would feel special and let me ask why what's going on here okay. i also have a special gift maybe uh you will you prepare a special gift for someone or somebody's preparing special gift for you some emperor for some people you may be coming from pile number two i'm just saying doesn't have to be special gift that kind of even i don't uh it's not a cheap one <laughs> i don't know or it's um it needs lots of um it lots of effort was put or will be put into this gift okay anyways your june told you you feel special and i want to say you're going to say feel special you didn't feel that way for a while or recently you were not in the, at your best mood or at your best um, 
the spirit. You were even uh, fighting with yourself, maybe with other people. Um, you didn't know why things are not going your way, why um, you you put an effort and it's that yeah, and it fails or people disappointed you here basically. Doesn't have to be people, but situations didn't work your way, and now finally you you're going to feel special. You're gonna feel free from any burden I hear. In the month of June, yeah, some situation is coming to an end. What does it come to an end? Your hardship, two tens. Um, something that was difficult for you, something you couldn't understand. Yes, it's wow. Peep, pile number three. You just been through a major transformation or it has ended. This transformation could have been long. For some, it's months, even years. Now you're coming in back into your power as the magician. I feel like you... This phase of your life that started or starting right now in the month of June is very different from other um, times that you had before. How is it different? Stability is coming into your life in all spheres. And you know when I, uh, I think when I just, you know, started this reading, um, the card stability was on top of the, this deck. And I wanted to say some some pile will have stability, something about stability. And now I feel it for pile three. Look. Before your roads were closed or somebody closed your roads, you were blocked. It's like you literally unblocked yourself from the tower. You... Again, this emperor, what's going on? Some people just, you know, got a divorce. Other people left uh, some relationship. Other people left their uh, job or uh, business that didn't serve. Basically, you left something behind here. Some people I hear even left people behind that were gossiping behind their back. Um, or you realize that certain people around you, they're not honest and you like, I should break the cycle. I should break the cycle of uh, events that's continuously happen to me, hap happening to me because, because I, I don't know how to let go. I don't know how to um, start from the scratch. Some people were afraid to end some situation. Um, but now you let go or you letting go during this month and it opens new roads for you why your roads were closed by the way ask why your roads were closed judgment karma um i don't see specific people did something on you even though there were people that um didn't treat you right or they gossiped i see lots of conversations that happen behind your back by the way even my wax right now just fell on a on a table black wax you see interesting okay so uh now you're deciding uh, this karma is ending where you can actually open um change your life completely completely here Yes, three cards. There are only three or four cards about karma. And uh, three of them already here. This is such a major movement in your life, pile number three. I'm so proud of you. A major movement is happening. happening. It's shifting. It's shifting you towards, yes, towards your new life. Expect a change. Maybe you're already going through it. 
And where are you going? Where is it taking you after you release that? Where is it taking you? Wow, um, I have goosebumps and I have uh, Ace of Pentacles. It's opening, um, new doors are opening for you that were closed before for a reason towards your home, towards your higher self, true soul. Uh, this is not just a, a house, this is a home. This is um, where you find your. It's like when we find um, our roots, where we came from. And again, it's not a specific place or thing or person. But for some, it will be a person that's going to feel like home to you. So you... For some, even it's your soulmate or um, twin flame partner that you will be reconnecting with or connecting with. But for many of you, it's just when you actually get there, you will realize that that's where you always wanted to be. That's where your soul always dragged you towards. completely new life for pile three i'm 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 so proud of you pile three uh expect a celebration because you are going towards new goals that um that uh, or new places that were kept from you uh, for a reason for a reason you couldn't get there you had to go through this those karmic cycles that you've been through in order to find your true family your true um true home i don't know why i want to continue saying that and for some yes it could be a person but even if it's a person it's not just about relationships it's like the energy of you know what comes to me like when if you have a grandma or you had a grandma uh, or a grandparents or some relatives home that was so close to your heart you always wanted to go there it's like you're coming back to who you truly are. For some, it's um, you, you're choosing your career that you always wanted to be someone, but you never could accomplish it. And you feel there like you are a fish in the water. You're so comfortable there, wherever you're going. You're so comfortable there when, that you... There are no doubts anymore. And your soul will be so grateful for you for this um, transformation. And remember, it took us back to this emperor that we had before. Maybe for, for some it's uh, even marriage here. Or a house. Or a how childhood home. Reconnecting with their children even. Anyways, that's what I had for you today. I'm going to give you one more advice as I did for other piles. What, what advice you need to know during this month. Four of Swords and look. You're letting go of something, of some boat that doesn't serve you anymore. You're just letting it go. You say, you honor it. You honor your past and say, yes, there were experiences. Some things were good. Some things were bad, some people were nice to me, others were not. But um, this is not my life anymore. That's not where I want to be anymore. I realized that it was just um, a part of my life. It was just, um, it was temporary. Now I'm coming back to uh, where I really have to be, to the star. <laughs> you know what, what comes to my mind. And Again, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, 
some people will reconnect with, reconnect with their um, soul tribe, with their star seed, even. That's when you truly feel home. Or your wish that wasn't coming true for a long time is finally happening for you, pile number three. And that's why the purity of the first card. Soon you will realize why all those roads didn't work before. Because your true road was some something else, somewhere else, someone else. And let me tell you, you will give everything, you will leave everything behind just for this wish. Because this wish cannot even compare to all those little things that you uh, thought can work out. It's like quality over quantity. I even hear someone uh, will tell their children in the future or their grandchildren how they've been through this road. And you will look back and say, now I understand why. Anyways, that's what I had for you, pile number three. And look at your candle here. Just want to show you somehow. It's almost done. And I also have this heart that appeared on the table. So uh, I wish you all the best, guys. We released some negative energies and we even made a heart out of uh, this black uh, wax, which means everything <coughs> that was dark will come and uh, return into love. And love can heal everything. I love you all. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.